thank you, and I want to thank all of my colleagues for joining us in submitting this bill for comprehensive reform. And for the past several weeks, pundits and columnists and reporters have almost been saying, have almost all been saying, that the prospects for comprehensive immigration reform look weak. I completely disagree. If I did not believe we could accomplish immigration reform, I never would have chosen to accept the Immigration Subcommittee Chairmanship. Committees of inaction and legislative backwaters are not places in which I thrive. Please. <laughs> People ask me all the time, why, did, why are you doing this? Why did you take on this assignment? I tell them because the urgency for immigration reform cannot be overstated because it is so long overdue. Our immigration system is badly broken. The broken system has produced dysfunctional outcomes for millions of people and for this entire country and our economy. It has created an unsustainable situation where thousands of people cross our southern border illegally each day, while at the same time, we continue to see shortages in much-needed occupations like doctors and engineers and agricultural workers. And on the flip side, the fact that we do not have a good, strong federal immigration law has now engendered a disproportional and counterproductive response in Arizona, which has passed a new law that is both ineffective and wrong-hearted. That is why we must act now, as soon as possible, to repair our broken immigration system. The American people have been clear. Americans overwhelmingly oppose illegal immigration and support legal immigration, and that's what our proposal does. Americans know that throughout our history, immigrants have contributed to making this country more vibrant and economically dynamic. Once it is clear that in 20 years our nation will not again confront the specter of another 11 million people coming here illegally, Americans will embrace more welcoming immigration policies. That's a tenet of our bill. Opponents of immigration reform reflectively say, secure the border first, and then we can talk about what to do about the people already here. That's a talking point, not a serious policy proposal. That will not improve the situation in Arizona or anywhere else. Our framework is fix the border first, but don't just fix the border. Our bill, our framework is a fix the border first bill. It is not a fix the border only bill. We clearly and, unambigu and unambiguously say to the American people, our proposal will require the government to secure the border first before we adjust the status of a single person who's here illegally. Just what many of our colleagues on the other side of the aisle are saying. Our bill is actually tougher on border security than the proposal recently offered by Arizona senators. But unlike the border only approach, our proposal recognizes though no, that no matter what we do on the border, will only succeed in dramatically reducing future illegal immigration by creating an employment verification system that holds employees accountable for knowingly hiring illegal workers. Our framework creates a fraud-proof, high-tech version of the Social Security card every one of us has. New hires must show this card to their employers who will swipe the cards through a machine to confirm their identity and immigration status. The system will ensure that employers will no longer be able to hire illegal immigrants without facing stiff fines and for repeat offenders jail time. Each person's information will be stored only on the card that they carry, so no government database with everyone's information will exist. Nor will the card contain any tracking devices, medical records, or other private information none of us wants the government to have. Now, but we also reform our system to maximize America's prosperity. Our failure to act is perpetuating a broken system that discourages the world's best and brightest to come here and contribute to our economy. We will attract the world's best and brightest to America because our framework will award a green card to immigrants who get a PhD or master's degree 
in science, technology, engineering, or math from an American university. And finally, the American people deserve more than empty rhetoric and impractical calls for mass deportation. Our framework says if you've been working hard, kept your nose clean, and been productive, you will be able to get right with the law if you come forward, register with the government, admit you're here illegally, pay a fine, pay the taxes you owe, and pass background checks. Our framework creates a way to let people live upright lives after paying the penalties for illegal action. So in conclusion, immigration reform is a morally complex and politically explosive challenge. There is no more important and difficult task than defining the American community and determining how we treat those who wish to join. We are asking our Republican colleagues to come join with us in this difficult work. The time for talking points is over. We know we cannot pass reform, comprehensive reform, unless it's bipartisan. And we welcome our Republican colleagues to take a look at our proposal, see where they want to make changes, and join with us. That's the way to pass this bill. And we can, and we must. It is time now to work together, because immigration reform is not just a political problem to be solved. It's a critical component to achieving improved security, a vibrant economy, and a nation that continues to live up to the values that were so eloquently enshrined on the Statue of Liberty, values we must never forget.